Get ready for the drama. This is Dave Ryan's War of the Roses, 101.3 KDWB. Do you remember three or four years ago, somebody was cheating and they said that they were at Rosedale Mall? Yeah. And, uh, and the, the girlfriend said, okay, if you're at Rosedale Mall, send me a picture of Rosedale Mall so I'll know you're there. So he does. He sends her a picture yeah. of the inside of Rosedale Mall. She gets suspicious. She looks up Google Images, and the first image that comes up of Rosedale Mall is the picture that he sent her of the inside. If I remember right, the weirdest part was because there were there were no other people in the picture, so it was like a promo photo they took where people weren't right. even in it. He's like, okay. <laughs> so pictures can definitely uh, sometimes out somebody as cheating, and that's kind of what we're looking at here with Kendall. Kendall, and we're going to call this the case of the photographic evidence. Yes, thank you. All right. Hi, Kendall. Hi. So tell us what's going on and what picture got you suspicious and why you're naturally suspicious anyway. What's going on? Okay, so my boyfriend Joey the other morning wakes up and sends me a selfie of him in bed. We do that sometimes. It's kind of silly. Like, <laughs> morning face. Okay. Um, and at first it was, like, completely normal, it seemed. And then I saw the background of the photo and it was the side of the bed that he never sleeps on. And I haven't been there in a couple of days. And it looked like all messed up. And I swear I saw like a head print in the pillow. Um, so, of course, my mind goes to the worst because of how we met. And how uh, did you meet? Tell us like, about how that happened. Okay. Well, we um, actually met cheating, which is really bad. But we uh, met at this cooking class and we like totally hit it off. We had our significant others with us at oh. that cooking class also. And then I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was like a harmless flirt. But then he actually found me on LinkedIn somehow. And I don't know, one thing led to another and we started hanging out. And I've never cheated before. It was like, I just thought he was like the one, you know? Yeah. I, like, it didn't make sense to stay with the other guy when I was feeling such strong feelings. So, but yeah, it's always, the trust has always been kind of an issue because it's how we met. And this picture is just, Okay, so so going back to the picture, so you got a picture of him on the side of the bed, and the great thing is she's going to send it to us. So we'll put this online. We'll blur him out on DaveRyanShow dot com, yeah. and uh, okay. we we won't let anybody know who he is. But the the picture basically shows the other side of the bed messed up. Because let me think, but you go to a hotel by yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're going to like on a business trip or whatever, and it, you're usually in like a king or a queen bed, and you get on the side. Usually for me, it's close to the plug-in so I can plug my phone in. And it, then I never even move, move. the pillows yeah. on the other side. I'm not a big, like, violently tossing, turning <laughs> sleeper. Me either, yeah. So you turn over, whatever. But either. Yeah, so he's yeah. not either. But then... The other side of the bed never gets messed up. So, but you look on the other side of the bed in this picture, and you can see he's on his side of the bed because you can you recognize the wall in the background and what's on the other side of the bed. Definitely. Okay. So you know that those pictures are not on his side of the bed. Does that make sense? Yes. To me, it does. All right. Yeah. So you think he had somebody in his bed. I'm afraid. And either she just left or she's in the bathroom. That's messed yeah. up, if and, so. And that's got to be, like, got to put a knot in your stomach. How can he be so stupid to send me that picture? How, I was going to say that too. next. How could he be so stupid to send yeah. that picture and not realize, oh, my God. Okay. And then your other thing is, like, the reason you met is because you both cheated on your boyfriend's girlfriends after you met in the cooking class. Yeah. So you want to give the give him another test here and see who he wants to send Rose to. Yeah. Okay. So we call him and say, okay. okay, you win roses. Who do you want to send roses to? You won these free roses. He should pick you, Kendall. We don't even have yeah. a name of somebody that might have been in the bed with him. You know what he's going to yeah. say. He's going to send it to a girl, and then you're going to confront him, and he's going to say, she's just a friend. Is she the one in your bed? Yeah, she's just a friend. She needed a place to stay yeah, for the night. Yeah, she a place to stay, oh. and I only have one bed. She had to sleep in bed with me. <laughs> All right, not to laugh Probably at your not. problem. No, yeah, okay. sorry. Hang yeah. on. Two things. I'm going to put the picture up online on DaveRyanShow.com so you can judge for yourself and see whether or not you think the bed looks messed up on the other side and whether you see a head print okay. in the pillow. Uh, and then also call me at 651-989-KDWB. Let me know what you think. Do you think he's cheating? Have you ever seen anybody send a picture that proved that they were cheating by accident? 
you know, pictures and texting, and that I know a couple of stories about. Check your background. Yeah. All right. Call me at 651-989-KDWB or text at KDWB1. That's our short code, KDWB1. And we'll come back and we'll make the phone call in just a couple of seconds. Kendall, please hold, okay? Okay. 101.3 KDWB. Back to busting. The Dave Ryan Show's War of the Roses. Whether you think the evidence of the bed that he's sending the picture from looks like there's somebody else been sleeping in the bed. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Uh, Cassie is on the phone from Ramsey. Hi, Cassie. Yeah. So you're, you heard the evidence. She got a selfie from him that he took in his bedroom. Well, she knows which side of the bed is which because she's been there. and She knows he sleeps on this side. But the other side of the bed is not only messed up, but it's got a head print. Somebody said it looks like an elbow print in the pillow, but definitely evidence that somebody's been on the other side of the bed. Now, anybody who's ever slept in a big bed by themselves, you usually sleep on one side. You go yep. to a hotel, I don't even mess up one side of the bed. No, me either. Yeah, one side is, is just like I mess up one pillow on one side. What do you think, Cassie? Um, I definitely think that <clears throat> he's cheating. My boyfriend uh, left my house in the morning because he had to go bowling with his kids, and he sent me a picture of him uh, bowling, and in the scoreboard behind him was the girl's name <laughs> that I was suspicious of the whole time. Oh, no. What an idiot. How busted yeah. can you get? Yeah. You can't get more busted than that. What you did don't you... get to the background. <laughs> what did you say? What did you do when that happened? Well, he sent a picture, and I didn't like look that close at first because he was bowling. Um, but, like, a day or two later, like, he was acting really weird. So I went back and looked at the picture, and I, like, zoomed in, and I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, now I know. Wow. Were you done at that yeah. point, or did you give another chance? Be I honest. I another chance, but it's been done for many months now. It's been, this, the whole thing's over now. Okay. Yeah. Busted. Can't recover from that. <laughs> what do you think of the picture with the, with the head print in the pillow? Did you see it? I didn't actually see the picture, but it, if she... It, no, it was just something from a picture. It, it, nobody pays... Guys don't pay attention to that when they're... I mean, there's different ways you can get busted from a picture. Either the bowling alley score screen or a head print in the pillow. Fallon's got text messages. There are so many text messages. Someone said, not that I'm commending the act of anyone cheating, and I get it sucks. But if they both previously cheated on other people, then sorry, Kendall. It's kind of karma. Someone said, he's totally cheating, but I feel like he wanted her to see the messed up bed. I mean, it's right there. Mm-hmm. Someone said, I haven't looked at the photo, but I don't think he could be stupid enough to send a picture of the girl he is cheating on with, um, possibly having her in the photo. Cheater's paranoia. Um, is it possibly snuggled with a pillow? I don't know. Someone else said, my husband and I, we like to switch things up in different spots in the bed. Maybe it's just that. Kendall might be reading too much into this. And someone else said, I've taken selfies on my bed. Doesn't have to be on my side. Maybe the other side had better lighting or a different angle on his face. This is a hard reach. We'll find out right now. On KDWB, let's make the phone call. Joey, you get a, a dozen long stem romantic roses, and that's the incentive today. We just want to thank you for taking the time to help us with some feedback. To send the roses out, we will need a first and last name. So, who would you like to send those to? Um, uh, I, this is free. This is free. Yes, totally free. It's uh, our way of saying thank you. Okay. Um, weird. <laughs> uh, Good weird, cool. though. Uh, no, no, I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Um, but can you send it to, uh, Lindsay? Ba- and you can attach a card if you would like, Joey. What would you like the card to say? Um, geez, what do you put on these? It's random. I never do this. Uh, you could say, uh, just thinking of you. All right. Perfect. You know, I knew we were in trouble, and I'm going to tell you why. When you asked him who he wanted to send roses to, and it was the longest, um, <laughs> yeah. and you know, yeah, we're talking about you for a second here, Joey. You know that Wait. he was tossing around in his mind whether he wanted what to send talking? the roses. Shut up, Joey. Okay, explain who you are, because you do sound like a strange man that just came into this conversation. Well, I am David. a strange man. I wanted, to, I wanted to be yeah, puzzled is, for a little bit. What is, what is, I'm a little confused right now. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I, yeah, it is kind of, kind of confusing, but... But I could hear you kind of turning over in your mind whether to send them to uh, Kendall or to Lindsay. Um, what well, are let you me, talking about? Let me explain what's going on. Um, there are 
not two people on the phone. There are not three people on the phone. There are four people on the phone right now. You're there's, one. There's Joey. Yep. The fake girl from the flower shop and the what cable company. There's me, Dave Ryan, at KDWB, the, the morning show guy. Minneapolis's sweetheart. Oh and then the fourth person. Who do you want to guess is the fourth person listening in on this phone call right now? Joey. <laughs> I don't know. You don't want to make a guess as to who <laughs> who who would be really curious and interested to eavesdrop on this conversation? Denno. Kendall there? Yes, Kendall is here. Kendall. Hey, wow. Um, I can't believe it. Okay. I'm such a I'm this such is, an idiot. Have you been sleeping for this entire about? time? What who's Lindsay? Can I ask you that, Kendall? Because I don't even know who that is. Oh, Lindsay. Lindsay is his is his girlfriend who apparently never stopped being his girlfriend. Oh, so the one that was at the cooking she class with him. No, she's not. She is not my girlfriend. She's, what are you oh, yeah, talking what about? What was she doing in your bed? And what are you doing sending flowers to her? In was my she... bed? What are you talking about? You sent me a picture and your side of the bed is all messed up. You never yeah, sleep on that side. I haven't been there in days. This is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me in my whole life. It is kind of mind-boggling. Did <laughs> <laughs> you get your caught right for the first time? You're what caught? are you doing right now? You're being caught. So he... Okay, so, Joey, your girlfriend, Kendall, called KWB and said, Hey, my boyfriend's up to something because, you know, he sent me a picture, like a good morning selfie, and on the other side of his bed, she could see that that side of the bed was messed up and there was a head print in the pillow. Do you remember sending that the other day? Do you guys, what? You have pictures? I'm so confused right Okay. Well, she sent it to us. Wait, can I talk to Kendall? Joey, it's Kendall. pretty simple. You're caught. What? What's simple? What do you mean? Uh, I, t- I give you a picture of caught. my new. I was showing you my my crappy haircut, and you you and you know I I move around in bed and whatnot. I mean, what I, that is that is not no, at no, all. No, what I'm that, about. that is never messed up when I get there. I can't believe you did this to me. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god! What do you mean? What are you talking about? I sent. And the flowers because it's her birthday coming up. I'm assuming you're not buying that, Kendall? No, not for a second.